Yo, what's up, guys? Dime JT here, and today, welcome back to Josh's Football Talk. Now, today, we're gonna be talking about <clears throat> liver shit. Like, you know, you know, man, as a Man United fan, we, we don't like these, man, bro. You gotta throw the scousers in the bin where they belong. Now, what I'm gonna talk about today is how Liverpool could literally win the league after one match coming back June 17th. We are less than two weeks away. From the Premier League returning. Now, as you can see on your screen, Liverpool are in first place. Uh, excuse me, Liverpool shit are in first place with 82 fucking points. 82 points. It's, it's in fucking embarrassing, bud. And the second closest is Man Shitty, our fucking derby rivals, who are ahead of us as well, at 57 points. It's embarrassing, bud. We're at 45 points, and we're, all, we're probably around... What are we... Almost 40 points behind Liverpool. It's disgusting. 40 points behind. 40 points. It's embarrassing, but they could literally win the league. If Arsenal, right here, if they beat Man City on, um, whenever we come back, what's it, the 17th, and Liverpool go and destroy Everton, which is inevitable because Everton are fucking shit, let's face it, they will literally win the league at Everton, which is another rival of Liverpool. And I am disgusted. And they will literally have won the league by blowing us out by over 30 fucking points. It has never been like this before. We have dominated the 90s. Liverpool have been shit for 20 fucking years. And we've let them ruck up and fucking come and just destroy the fucking league. Not even like, it's not even a close battle. It's fucking destruction. But we are at 45 points and they're at 82. That is all. I think that's over a 30 point difference. It's embarrassing, bud. Man City are 27-something points behind, and we hate these men as well. But look, even Chelsea are ahead of us by three points. We're fighting for top four right now. We have to win a lot of games because, let's be real, Chelsea are probably going to win a lot of games. I think they're in for Timo Werner. They're making improvements to their squad. And what are we doing just sitting around fucking panty antsing around playing fucking friendlies and shit? We need to get some business done. This is fucking embarrassing. 30 fucking points. Over 30 points. That's embarrassing, but this has never happened before. This is embarrassing. It is a disgrace, bud, to see these fucking scousers as far ahead as they are of us, man. They used to be Ben Dippers, but we used to dominate them every season. We used to be on top, and now it's all about now we're getting destroyed. They got probably arguably the best center back in the world in Van Dyke. I can't lie. They have a good coach. They have a good philosophy. I mean, Ollie. I have Ollie gonna so scar for Man United. Is he gonna take us forward? I I have yet to see it. I don't see it, but unless we do something crazy this summer, but we we gotta stop pissing around the bush. But we've lost games this season that we shouldn't have lost because we should have had the resources in already. But we keep pissing about, pissing around, and then we were, and then we're thirty points behind Liverpool, bro. Thirty fucking plus points. It's embar. I'm gonna keep bringing that up because that's fucking embarrassing. They have a plus 45 goal difference, and we have a plus fucking 14. I know that doesn't mean anything, but that's embarrassing, but they have blitzed the league. No issues. No issues. They have blown the league into fucking pieces. 82 points. I think the highest points total was done by Man City. I think it was like 102. I mean, they're on track to beat that. They're on track. They have 82 points. What do we got? Nine games left? I, I don't see where they lose. I, they lost one game. Uh, they've lost one game this season to fucking Watford, who are fucking 17th in the league. Right here, they lost 3-0 somehow. I, I don't know how, but it's in fucking embarrassing. Like, it's embarrassing, man. It's a monstrosity, man. 45 points, and they have 82. It's embarrassing. I'm embarrassed to be a Man United fan to see that shit, man. The fucking Ben Dippers, but I hate those, man. I hate those lot, and I get so much stick on social media from their fan base, bro. I get so much stick because I have to deal with this, bro, because they're 30-something points ahead. And every time I try to combat an argument or say something, they're just going to tell me to go look at the fucking table. And rightly so, because if roles reversal, oh, just know I'm going to talk reckless, but I'm going to talk reckless. I am going to say what I'm going to say, bud. Now, as you can see, Ollie Gunner, so Sky, we have not lost a game in our last five. Cute. That's cute and everything, but are we going to take that form on when we're tired? Um, we need to make signings in the summer if we're going to catch Liverpool, man. Um, I, I don't know how this, this, uh, code CV19, mar how the market's going to be dealing with after COVID, all this bullshit going on, but 
That is fucking embarrassing. There is no excuse for that, but that's embar- That's more embarrassing than when City blew us out by 20 points. What was that, like, one or two seasons ago? It's embarrassing, but... And I hate Man City just as much as I hate Liverpool. Man City are a uh, local derby. Manchester City, they're a derby. That's the derby, man. And then you got Chelsea shit right here. 48 points. They're ahead of us. And then you got Leicester City. Leicester fucking City. Leicester City have spent 120 million pounds in four seasons. And they're still ahead of us by, like, uh, what, like, almost 10 points. Almost 10 points, man. It's embarrassing. Eight points are ahead of us by, man. Embarrassing. Then you go down, you got Wolverhampton Wanderers. They're right on our ass. I mean, they're only, what, two points behind us. This top four race is going to be ridiculously tight. Sheffield United are not far off either. They're 43 points. If Tottenham beat us, we're fucking screwed. It's going to bring everyone in the table. Tottenham will be with them, what, one point? We have to beat Tottenham. We have to win. We have no choice. Arsenal, I mean... Who do they play? City? Ugh, yeah, they're going to get dropped off. But but let, let's say Arsenal pull off a fucking miracle and they beat City somehow. They're right on our ass too. So you got from the position from fourth till ninth place is by what? Eight points? It's tight in nine games. It takes one slip up to screw up. And I've always said this. Will all these stand up to the challenge, man? I don't know. Because we have people like Lingard, Millie rocking and shit. He scores one goal in a year, and people think he's the next Pele or something. I, I don't understand it. Same thing with Rashbeck. He had a little form here and there, and then he fucked his back up. And I don't know if he's going to come back the same player. That has yet to be seen. I mean, Bruno has revolutionized us. I, I don't know, man. But that that is embarrassing. 82 fucking points, and we're at 45. We're not even at 50 fucking points. It's a blowout. It's embarrassing embarrassing that is the most embarrassing shit i've ever seen that is a literal blowout man and i i, I can't believe it man that is disgusting man um, and leicester city even worse they have spent a hundred i think ozil is worth more at arsenal than leicester city have spent in the last four fucking seasons and they're ahead of us by eight points embarrassing and absolutely shambles at the disco but but hopefully we can bounce back i it's going to be tight, man, but just know after every game, I'm going to be doing match reactions. We're going to be doing football talk daily. I'm going to keep making these videos, man, because I'm actually really enjoying this, man. But that is fucking disgusting right here, man. But yeah, man, I'm going to update y'all, man. Hopefully when this season starts back, man, we can, we can at least get the 50 points. I think we'll get past 50 points, but if y'all didn't know, all they get in short scar is literally on par with David Moyes to have one of the worst seasons in our club history. Club history. We have been a club for a long time, and he is on track to have one of the worst seasons ever by any manager that has been in our club. It's an fucking embarrassment. And people wonder why I get on his case, bro. Look at this, man. This is where Liverpool belong, the fucking Ben blood. Fuck the Scousers. Fuck, fuck Liverpool, fuck Chelsea, fuck Leicester, fuck Arsenal, fuck all our rivals, man. It's me, boy, Dungeon, I'm out, man. I'm fucking.